Bible's reading. Month number four, and I am still ill. So, in advance, I do apologise if today's episode is a little bit on the dull side. <laughs> I am really not feeling good. So, let's start today's episode by recapping last month. So last month I noticed that my skin was a lot softer than it was usually. Also, my nipples were hurting quite badly. And yeah, I, I put on a bit of weight. I started to smell really, really bad. I love body odour. Hot flushes started to be something that happened on the daily. I also noticed that my face started to be a little bit more puffy and rounded than it usually was. As for emotional and well-being changes, I was fairly stressed and incredibly sleepy and lazy. But if I was to summarise the whole month, I would say I was fairly fairly mellow. So with the recap being over, let's talk about the changes that I didn't notice compared to last month. My skin wasn't any softer, my nipples didn't hurt any more than they usually did, and also I haven't gained much more weight. But not as, as much as I gained between month two and month three. But it's now time for the things that you peeps have all been waiting for, the things that I noticed in months number four. I hope that's what you're wanting. If not, you're on the wrong video. I want to jumpstart this month's changes by talking about body odour. Oh my gosh, I literally smell like a donkey. That is not an exaggeration. I smell really bad. Lucky for me, Christmas has just been. Gotta love some spray on deodorant. When I was on blockers, I didn't need to shower every single day. And now, if I don't shower at least once a day, no one's gonna want to come near me on that day. Literally, I stink. I do still wash, I I just sometimes, where did I put that deodorant? I remember on blockers, I barely sweated at all. And prior to blockers, I wasn't that sweaty. To be fair though, it is like 25 degrees in here. It's so toasty. But while I was building my tripod yesterday, I was pretty much dripping sweat by the end of it. But on a semi-similar note, hot flush of hello, welcome to my life, you're still here. Yeah, every single second. Hot, cold, hot, cold. I'm wearing a jumper in 25 degrees. It, 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 it honestly is really bad. Like, really bad. But at least I've also grown muscles. That's a good thing. I mean, with all of these downsides, growing muscle is something that I've just wanted for so long. I hated being a limp fish. Now, I don't want to be that sort of bodybuilder grill, but like, I, I wanted a little bit of muscle. Carrying a vlog setup which is like two kilograms is not easy. I would definitely say I am fairly happy with my muscles at the moment. Now that concludes the physical changes, but let's talk about emotional and well-being stuff. I've definitely noticed that I've got my energy back. I have missed being my little energetic self. But at the same time, I have been having this weird dizzy sensation. Is, is it a sensation if I add the correct word? It's some sort of like dizziness that I just keep getting over and over again. <laughs> and of course, I am sick, so I, I can't really talk on behalf of that. Like, I think I've been ill for eight going on nine days and I, I'm feeling... Mm. I would definitely say I have been very easygoing in the last month. But with all the words being said, that kind of summarises month number four. Four. But that is pretty much everything that I have noticed in month number four on estrogen. So I hope you have enjoyed and remember as always to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you peeps in the next episode. So on that note, good bye. Bye bye, see you.